Captain's been dragged out on a mission into town. So Mr. Crabtree has uh, sneaked out, got his rod out in the old lorry hole. Uh, currently my favorite swim on the whole lake. Uh, I've had a few fish already, uh, a couple of Java bar, nothing to shout about. Uh, uh, an Esoc, which is a Rohu carp, uh, about 12 ounces or so. Very nice fish. Uh, what else have I had? Uh, a Paku of about a pound and a half. Uh, a Baduk Ui, which is the Thai walking catfish. And a Bamor, which is your, your little climbing perch. And then this happened. You've got something. He not got something, he got fist. Catla, I think. What's up? Catla. Catla? <laughs> not a cat. A non Siamese catla carp. <laughs> he just play with that, he's gonna lose it in a minute. I think it's a lot bigger than yours, too. Ooh! I already see it small. A lot smaller than mine. You just play with it and make, make everyone think it, you got big. It misses. See? see? A lot smaller than what I got. Strong, isn't they? I can't stand in the sun for hour. You just play with them, and you. That a lot, a lot small. What I caught that day. I shouldn't have done that, didn't I? Oh. I tell you what, a lot smaller than mine. Definitely small. My first catler. Happy times. Not a uh, Siamese carp, which we thought we'd purchased as a three centimetre fingerlings, but uh, never mind, they still grow to 85 pounds. Siamese, no Siamese. <laughs> okay. Let Jim go. Absolutely chuffed to bits getting my first ever Catler carp. That's uh, number two out the late, two had the first one. I think they're pretty similar size. Don't listen to Toon, she said hers was bigger. Um, yeah, just to elaborate what I said in the video earlier on, uh, the kind gentleman that uh, supplied us all our fish to date um, said that they were si uh, Gahor, Gahor Thai. They're not, that, that is, that's the, the true Siamese carp. Whereas these are, I think they're, uh, well, Catlers, I, I, I would presume they're like an Indian version of a, a Siamese. Uh, they still grow to over 80 pounds. Um, they're beautiful, but they're not, they're not what we ordered. <laughs> so not a lot of what we can do. There's a few hundred in the lake. Uh, but thankfully, uh, a kind gent called Ian, he's uh, sourced a, um, or give us a contact for a fish farm, uh, not too far from us. And uh, Toon had a, a, a lovely chat with the, the lady, the owner, yesterday. And we've managed to source some Siamese carp, some baby ones. So it's unfortunate that we're six months behind the drag, drag curve with the, the Siamese, but like everything else in the lake, we're not, we're not paying big bucks and buying big fish. We want to grow everything ourselves. I know some of the predators will, you know, take a few, uh, but you know, we're looking at what, 30, 35 baht for a, for a fish that, <laughs> do apologize, flying spider attack. Where was I before I was rudely interrupted? Yeah, so everything that's gone into the lake has been 
very small. Any anything that's been a decent size, we've actually grown from from prior to having the late dug. So yeah, I mean things like the little uh, the, only a bit bigger than fry, the the Chinese big head carp. They were about that big, and now they're well over a pound. You know, probably probably about a pound and a half. Some of them. Uh, so yeah, if if snakehead and you know catfish and wallagoos they claim a few the birds claim a few we, we got them for 40 satang each which uh it's about what 10 uh, one pence in british sterling so that's uh that's our train of thought it's also fun you know and you get to me you get a real buzz of catching fish later down the line that you, you've actually grown from you know from fry or or fingerlings uh, and of course, all the all the stuff that we've put in here, fucking spider, that, that we've caught from the wild, either netting in the the little river around here, or is actually catching with, um, you know, rod and line in the in the local rivers or or little little ponds. Team wasn't best pleased when she caught a, a climbing perch earlier. Um, it did appear to have had a nip on the tail. Bye, fit doctor. <laughs> Again, mate. Again. You look at that, she got hurt. It's probably you fucking shadow on it. Try buy it. Look at that, it is, look. Nick, get back. Put this shadow. This is your die, snakehead. Fucking kill them all. Anything that gets bitten in the lake or that splashes chasing other fish, she instantly blames my giant snakehead which still aren't giant they're about a foot long and uh, they're not particularly fat either and uh, the, the ones in our tank are, are far bigger so I, d I don't think that they're actually claiming that many bloody spider jog on update with the the lake itself with macro man he came yesterday late afternoon early evening once he clocked off work he's currently um, loading up trucks of sugar cane for his boss. He's bored like you wouldn't believe. He wants to get back here digging and he came and had a look and he said it's ready. No problem at all. I can dig it how I, how I want to dig it now. Uh, only problem is uh, cobblers, his, his trusty macro is now broken and they're waiting for a, a hydraulic part on that and the company that's supplying it are saying about a week. So um, once that's once that's fitted and all good, it's coming straight here. His, his boss actually needs some digging doing on their farm, but she said no. Toon's Toon's been waiting longer than me, so he's going to come here, do the lake, do the outer shelf, um, build up the sides where needed, put a pipe in, and a few of the little bits and bobs that we've got planned as well. No idea how long it's going to take. I imagine about a week, um, and, and make a few swims as well. Uh, after that, um, we'll be draining all our ponds into here. So um, there's not a lot else really, other than I found some old footage on the computer of the well, those three fish that we, we got hold of. One toon calls rhinos, uh, but they basically they're just um, fingerlings of the giant garami. We've already got a few in the lake, but not many at all. Only a couple of big ones. I think we've got about four or five big ones in the fence pond as well. But she does like them. They're a little bit slower growing than a lot of the species out here in Thailand. Uh, but yeah, so they, they've they've gone in here. She's also put some in the stock pond as well because they seem to be um, a little bit slow in the old noggin. And I think predators might pick them off quite easily. So she's hedged the bets and put some in in a stock pond as well. The cormorants will probably get them. Look na, na cha dai kin chao na. Look at that one. Can eat tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> This day is super beautiful when they die for fishing. If they can just survive long enough to hide. Yeah, I'm surprised from the, oh no, that, that's where 
they should be all right in there, shouldn't they? Right, is it here? Oh, in that, yeah. We managed to get hold of some more uh, Marigal carp because we didn't have, we only had about 40 in here. So yeah, we got, well, I think we've got about three or 400 of them. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. A real mix of sizes. Sorry, man. Can't believe we got to a back for years though. And last but not least, one that I'm absolutely buzzing about, we managed to get hold of 300 black shark minnows. Wow. How beautiful are they? You shouldn't have one yeah. in your hand, is it? Look at that beauty. Quite reminds me when we used to fish Tamaku. Mm. Wow. That is such a beautiful fish. Number one fighting as well. Don't you get them, snakehead? Not allowed. You talk with your snakehead? They can eat them silly rhinos. Not bothered about them. I'm gonna fucking kill them all. I don't mind you killing them, so I can eat them. I'm chop them and throw it to the dog. We're like a well-oiled machine, Chris, aren't we, eh? You sure 300 or in there, Lee? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, count them. Uh, how are you, Chris? I'm doing good. Busy, busy day by you. <laughs> Lee, happy ma? Happy. On top of that, uh, the woman that Toon spoke to yesterday to order some extra fish, what they've got is white and red black shark minnows. So I presume it's a white shark minnow and a red shark minnow. Uh, so I think we've got we've ordered 50 of each of those. They don't grow quite as big as the black shark minnow, but that'll be quite nice. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, I've got 10 chow prior coming. They're not going straight in the lake. Got something special earmarked for them. Uh, what else have we got? Bony lipped barbs. Got a hundred or so of them coming. Uh, da, da, da. There's something else, but I can't. Majulies. Majulians. Finally managed to get some Julians sorted out. So I think we've got a hundred of those coming as well. And. Uh, yeah, it's all good, all good. So once the lake's done and those fish come in and then we can empty all of the stock ponds as well, uh, we're just good to go and uh, we'll have a, a proper opening of the lake. Uh, we may even send out some invitations, who knows? Uh, and then last but not least, just to whet your appetite, um, if you are gonna visit here, it's just the sort of rod bending action awaits you. Yeah, waking up a bit. Don't worry, I'm not drinking the most gopping cup of coffee. Uh, I'm fishing slop today up in the water. So I'm fishing about three quarter depth, soft pellet on the, on the waggler. And yeah, it's going, it's going quite well. Mm -hmm.